What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel where you subscribe for daily updates on Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. Today, we have an interesting chart that I want to show you guys that could be showing us that we're looking for a 35 to 75 percent dump from here. As you guys know, I have been and will remain bearish, and I'll show you the point where that gets invalidated also. But stick around. Don't forget, we have a free Discord group in the description below the video. Definitely check it out. It's by far the best community in crypto. And let's get into it. All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. Always do your own due diligence and your own research before investing or trading in any markets as it is extremely risky. This is the chart we're going to be taking a look at at the end of the video. It does show a major possibility that we could drop from 35 to 75 percent from here. Um, and I'll show you exactly why this has been correct all the way since 2013. And I want to give a huge shout out to Ricky Cook for sending me the info in the email. And let's get into it. Fear and Greed Index. We're at 43. We dropped four points from yesterday. We were in the neutral zone, now in the fear zone. And just we're going to run through these as quick as possible. I know I always say that, but I don't like to leave stuff out. But anyways, the macro, we've made nothing but lower highs and we have higher highs in the price action, lower highs in the RSI. That is bearish divergence. Also, want to point out a monthly close or even a weekly close above this 10,900, then we could be looking at getting bullish. But until then, we remain bearish. I remain bearish. So I wanted to also show this. Um, we talked about this yesterday. I think this is going to be a red week down to somewhere around the 9200 and i'll show you why um, as you can see if we look at these candles over here it's an, almost an exact repeat and let's take a look at my trades i am currently up 0 0.06 bitcoin which is 660 dollars um, we started this account with 0.1 bitcoin we are at now at 0.26 so up about 160 percent um I am actually currently looking for around the 9,800, but I'm going to be watching this closely. I may get out at around 10.2 or 10, between 10.2 and 10.4 and then re-enter. But if you guys are interested in trading where you can make money going where Bitcoin goes up or down, it doesn't matter. Um, all you have to do is check out the link above, Prime XBT, use my link, and Savvy. 50 as a promo code will get you 50% on top of whatever you deposit up to one Bitcoin. Savvy 25 will get you 25% off your fees. Um, Prime XPT is by far my favorite. They don't trade against you like all the other exchanges. Um, you could trade Bitcoin, EOS, Litecoin, XRP, Forex, Gold, Silver, Oil, S&P, Dow, everything on this one exchange. And you can enter longs and shorts at the same time. A lot of exchanges don't do that. They just add to your orders. Um, like I said, by far the best, most pro professional exchange out there, in my opinion. Um, but anyways, yeah, check it out if you haven't already. And let's look at the weekly. So like I said, this yellow dotted trend line right here, if we look at it in the weekly, a weekly close above 10,950, I get bullish. Until then, I remain bearish. Um, as of right now, we are getting support on the 13 EMA at 10,530 and resistance at the 8 EMA at 10,730. A break of the 13 and we go down to the 21 at 10,200. And the 55 EMA lies around 9,250. And then a retest of this trend line would be around $8,800. Um, and then all the way down here, we have our 200 EMA around 6,500. One more thing I want to point out. I do think there is going to be life-changing opportunity down here. If we come back down to the weekly and retest this trend line, that was where we will get a huge bounce, in my opinion. Um yeah, as of right now, it does look like we're making a head and shoulders in the weekly, a break of this trend line here. It's going to get ugly really fast. And the daily. So if we look at this rising broadening wedge, and we're going to take a look at different views of this with different targets, but uh, rising broadening wedge in white, the measured move is around 3,900, somewhere in that range. And 
If we look at this as a rising broadening wedge on the pink, our measured move is about 6,500. Um, we have this trend line coming down here where if we do it the 6,500 and that does happen to be our bottom, it'll be around the beginning of November, end of October. Um, let's take a look at this daily. Now this chart we've been looking at for a while. As you guys know, I do believe we are probably going to get a black swan type event and something like this happened. We called this one back in uh, March, and I think it's going to be about the same thing here, maybe maybe a lot worse. Um, but anyways, as you can see, we made a bear flag here, came down. This does seem to be a bear, bear flag over here. As you can see in the RSI last time, RSI reset before the huge dump. RSI reset over here. I do think it's going to end up looking something like this. And let's take a look at the measured moves of this. So if we look at it as a just a rising broadening wedge, if we were to break down from here in the next day or so, our target's going to be around the 8,880. And if we look at it as a bear flag, which it's getting a little long to be a bear flag now, but that's going to be around the 8,600. Now let's take a look at the four hour. So the four hour, looking at this as a rising wedge, where we take a measured move from that, where we broke down, that gets us to about the $6,000 range. And let's take a look at what's forming here. It looks like a symmetrical triangle, could be a bear flag, and the measured move, just measuring it as a triangle. A breakdown from here gets us, you guessed it, the 888, 8,888. And if we break up from here, could be coming to retest the top of this wedge. This is the bullish case scenario, although I don't see it happening. Um, if we were to break the 10,700, next stop would be around the 11,150. If we were able to break that, 12,423. That is the bullish case, um, although I believe we are in for the bearish case. Now let's take a look at this whole move. If we take the Fibonacci retracement from the swing low to the swing high, 10,445 is our first line of support. Um, we broke through it a couple times, could not maintain below it. It is the 0.236 fib. And if we break below this again, um, 9,200 would be my next target as it, that is the 0.382 fib. If that doesn't hold, our 88. If that doesn't hold, 81.65 is the 0.5 fib. And then we have our golden pocket zone right here between 68.50 and 71.40. That could be a bottom area. We will at least get a bounce in my opinion, but if that does not hold, then our target of that 6,000, and then we have the 0.786 fib at 56.75, and then we have our CME gap all the way down here at 35.70. If you guys want to help support the channel, this is my wife's webpage. There is a link down below along with other affiliate links that help the channel out. Definitely check it out. A lot of cool crypto stuff. Um, she can put anything you want on any of this stuff. Any coin, family, pictures, sayings, anything you want. Um, just hit her up in the contact if you have any questions. And let's look at the one hour and then we'll move to the crazy chart showing most likely we're going to have a huge drop. Well, let's look at the more immediate price action. First off, we'll look at this rising channel. We had the measured move there of 9,700, which is the CME gap that I think a lot of people are gonna end up trying along here if we do get down here. And it's gonna be a long squeeze and pushing us down much further. Um, that is my opinion. Also, if we looked at this as, let's zoom in here a little bit and look at the more immediate targets. So if we look at this rising broadening wedge here, where we broke down, uh, that target gets us to around the 10,200. And we also have the target at 10,328. But let's look at a little bit more zoomed in. It looks like we are in a rising wedge here in the one hour. If we take a measured move of the wedge, depending on where we break out, we'll put some this target would be around 10,521. And if we look at this as a bear flag and we broke down from the same area, that would get us to about 10,424. So be on the lookout for that. Our EMAs have crossed here in the one hour. It is looking pretty damn bearish, guys. Um, let's look at the chart that Ricky Cook sent me. Um, 
I hope I did this right, Ricky, but it looks good to me. Let's take a look. This is the NVT indicator down here, right? So if we look in the past, starting in 2013, how I did this was if we go to where the NVT went from red right here, red to gray, started right up here, and we go down to where it bottomed out here. And this line right here is around the 140 on the NVT. It's every time we cross that, we turn red, and then when we cross below it, we have a huge drop. This one here was 70, almost 76%. And that was in 2013. If we look over in the end of 2013, we did the same thing. If we look at where the indicator turned gray, which was right here at, 983 it dropped all the way down to the bottom over here at around 330 which was 65 percent let's look at it over here same thing we turned gray right here bottomed out here and like i said every time we got to watch we cross this 140 line and 72 almost 73 percent on that drop and that was in 2014 moving on over here to 2018 same thing when the red turned to gray right here that was a 70 percent drop to the bottom over here now 2018 right here you guys remember this if you were around this was a crazy day 50 percent drop from this one let's go over to where we're at right now or not yet we look at where the nbt turned gray right here 35 35 percent Let's look at this one right here, where it turned gray, 60%. That was in the beginning of this year. That was the big capitulation. Now, let's look at where we're at now. Same thing, let me zoom in a little bit. So where the indicator turned gray, right here. If we went down 35%, which each one has been at least 35%, that will be 7,800. And if we dropped, down to the 75%, we could be looking at, believe it or not, $3,000 Bitcoin. Um, let me know what you guys think of this chart. We're gonna move on to Litecoin and Ethereum in a second, but I'm really curious to what you guys think about this chart. Don't forget, we have a Ledger Nano S giveaway on Sunday. All you have to do to enter to win is make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. And you also need to select all and turn on your notifications in YouTube. Also, leave your comment down below. I'll be picking a random comment on Sunday's video to pick the winner. But let me know what you think of this. Do you think we are gonna have this huge drop? As you guys know, I'm bearish, and I do believe that this is a very good possibility between 78 and 3,000. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, guys, down below, and let's look at litecoin um still the same thing guys my first target here if you guys don't know how i got the targets um look at any of my previous videos we've been talking about this for over a month 38.62 is this target then 31.25 after that um ethereum my two targets on ethereum first one being 246 second one being 200 but that's what I'm at, where I'm at, guys. Definitely let me know what you think of the charts we looked at today. Let me know if you think, are you bullish? Are you bearish? Um, you know, I know a lot of people are extremely bullish right now. I honestly don't see it, but we'll see what happens. Um, I could be wrong, but so far, so good. Charts playing out just the way I was expecting. Um, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. Tick the notification bell to get you notified. Scroll down and smash them likes. I stress smash the likes and leave your comment. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm out of here. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow.